Hey guys, Vin from The Better Gentleman, and today we're going to be looking at the Black Friday ad from Walmart. And right in the middle, uh, I think that's like one of their biggest deals, is that they have a 65-inch Philips Android TV. And something cool about that is that it's not like just like a Roku TV. It has like other apps and stuff you can download onto it because it's a full Android TV. And that is in 4K, and the price for that is $278. And that's down from 448 and i think that's a really good buy but another thing i want to point out is that it doesn't have too many reviews out there yet and i've had a bad experience with the philips tv in the past so just be careful and in the back they have two other tvs from on on is kind of like the walmart brand and the 40 inch one on the right that one it has decent reviews and that's about 70 dollars off that is a 2k tv not a 4k tv and then on the left, we have the 4K 50 inch on TV. Both of these TVs do have decent reviews. I've just had bad personal experiences with on products in the past. Um, and more specifically towards like their headphones and their tablets, most definitely their tablets, their tablets are trash. Those will come up later in this video, but yeah, definitely stay away from those. Um, these TVs on the other hand, they do have decent reviews. Um, so they should be all right and for their price point they're pretty good so 40 inches is 98 bucks and 50 inches is 148 bucks not not bad at all and at the bottom of this page we have the apple products uh their phones they're giving up to 700 dollars in e-gift cards which is kind of cool but all of these phone deals are going to require you to sign some type of contract or financing plan or something like that and then next up we have the ipad and you're saving about 80 bucks on that so that's pretty decent and then next up, we have the Apple Watch Series 3. Just keep in mind, we're on Series 5 right now, but the Series 3 is on sale for $129. And then right next to that, we have the AirPods. And that is, I believe, Gen 2, so the latest version of AirPods. So that's a pretty decent buy as well. And over here, we have something that I think a lot of people will miss out on, but I think it's a really good deal, especially if you're into the whole smart home thing. Uh, they have a Google Nest kit, and that includes a Chromecast, a Google Home Mini, and a $10 video credit for Vudo. And I think that's really good for $35. Normally, just a Chromecast by itself is $35, so that is, that is definitely a good deal. Over here, we do have these soundbars as well. And we have this Vizio soundbar, which is a good price, and it has really good reviews. Uh, just keep in mind you're not really saving $29 here it's more like 10 bucks because it's at best buy for 59 so if you do miss out on it don't feel too bad you can just get one from best buy later on next up we have this lg soundbar and uh, this is a really good price for $99 uh, just keep in mind if you need something a little bit better they have one for 120 at best buy and they're almost identical except that one has bass plus and you can also add speakers onto it in the future and stuff like that. However, if you don't need that fancy stuff, then this one is a really good price. And down here we have the Rokus. And something to keep in mind is that they are discontinuing support for a lot of the older Rokus. So if you do need one, this is the time of year to get one. The $48 one over here, that includes a $5 Voodoo credit. It does 4K streaming and stuff like that. So a little bit more fancy. However, if you need something a little bit more simple, they have the Roku SE, which is HD streaming. So not 4K, but I think that'd be fine for most people anyways. All right, and on this page, we have all the headphones and speakers and stuff like that. Uh, both of the Beats, um, I think you could do better if you just like got them online. I know they're like both significantly cheaper on eBay. The Power Beats 3 over here, they're for $89, but I've seen them on eBay like brand new for $75, so you can still do better on the Power Beats. And same as for the Beats Solo 3 over here. Um, again, it's not a bad price if you're getting it from like a retailer, but I've just seen them cheaper online, like $115 on eBay, and they have more color variants and stuff like that available too, and those would be brand new as well. And I get that it's not like ideal to like order stuff off of eBay and stuff like that, especially like electronics. But I'm just saying this price over here, like it might be great for a Walmart price, but it's not the best price overall. And then in the middle of this page, we have the J Labs. So we have um, J Lab Air Executives, which are pretty good. Those are half off. And then we have the J Lab Studios. Those are also half off. Both of them are decent headsets with decent reviews. So decent buys as well. 
But then at the bottom of that, we have the on true wireless in-ear headphones. It's like Walmart's version of AirPods. And even for 15 bucks, those are just trash. I like the reviews are terrible on them. Just stick away from that. Definitely avoid the on in-ear AirPod thing that they have. And next up we have uh, these HyperX Cloud 2s. And these are really, really good. Like these are my favorite gaming headphones. And um, normally they're about 100 bucks. And over here we got them for 59. So that's something you guys might want to check out. And right below that, we have the on tablets that I was talking about. Just definitely, definitely stay away from the on tablets. I know they're cheap, but it's not worth it. Like you can't do anything with these tablets. I've tried, I've had both of them and they're super slow and I don't think that you'd be happy with them. Um, in the middle of that, we have the Galaxy Tab A and I personally think the Tab A is kind of expensive in general. Over here it's $70 off off of its 219 price. So for 150, it's all right. I mean, in my opinion, it's still kind of overpriced for a tablet, but people still like tend to love these Galaxy Tab A's and this is a really good price if you're into that. And over here we have the Samsung Chromebook 3 and for 99 bucks, it's a pretty decent price and I think it's a pretty decent Chromebook. People seem to be really, really happy with these. Um, just disclaimer, I think that this is cheaper at Best Buy on Black Friday. On this page, I wanna talk about both of the Fitbits. The Inspire HR is for 69 bucks and that's about 30 bucks off. And that kind of puts it at the same price as the regular Inspire, so that's not a bad deal. And these are great if you're looking for something super simple. Next up, we have the Fitbit Versa Lite for $99 and Walmart saying it's $60 off. And it is a good price for the Fitbit Versa, but it's not really 60 bucks off. It's about 40 bucks off of every other retailer. It's just for Walmart, it's 60 bucks off. And also you can get this one off of eBay for $100 as well. Again, it's the same price. And at that point, you might as well get it from Walmart. But if you do miss out on it on Black Friday, don't feel too bad about it. On this page, we also have the GoPro Hero 7 White for $139. And these are good and you're saving about 20 bucks. Just keep in mind that they do have other variants of these GoPros, like the silver and black versions that have more features. And this one is more the base variant of that. And also keep in mind that the current generation is Hero 8. And in all honesty, I think for most people, if you do need an action camera or whatnot, you'd be fine using a knockoff off of Amazon. And if you do do that, you could save yourself about a hundred bucks. But if you gotta have GoPro, this is an okay deal. On this page, we have stuff that's already for sale from Walmart. And what I wanted to point out is that they have these three TVs over here. And while they are decently priced and it might be a good buy if you don't wanna wait for Black Friday or something like that, I do feel like these are decently priced. However, if you're willing to spend just a little bit more at like some place like Best Buy, I feel like you could get something that's way better. And that's about it. That's all that really like sticks out to me from this Black Friday ad from Walmart. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like would be massively appreciated and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time.